Hey everyone, today we'll be covering the second challenge from Damn Vulnerable DeFi. Uh, let's go ahead and get into it. So this challenge, there's a lending pool offering quite expensive flash loans of Ether, which has a thousand ETH in balance. You also see that a user has a deployed contract with 10 ETH in balance, capable of interacting with the lending pool and receiving flash loans of ETH. Drain all ETH funds from the user's contract and do it in a, and doing it in a single transaction is a big plus. So let's go ahead and take a look at the flash loan uh, lending pool first. So this is the, the easiest way to understand this. So this is the smart contract here. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. So we have a contract. It has, uh, it's using a custom library for the address. Um, the fee to use the flash loan is a fixed fee of one ether each time. Uh, you can see fixed fee here returns fixed fee. And you can see that it has a flash loan function here. So it requires a parameter of the borrower and the borrow amount. Um, it checks the balance before, so it verifies that it, the contract has enough in the pool to be able to lend out. Um, it requires that the borrower is a contract, so the borrower must be a deployed contract. And then it does a function call with value. So this is a way to basically call a function uh, just by its signature. And um, you can provide the fee as well. So this is using uh, a... Uh, using the library of Open Zeppelin uh, to do a function call with value. So this is calling receive ether with this parameter type, um, and the parameter that it's going to pass in is the fixed fee, and the borrow amount is the amount that uh, is going to be is going to be called with the value. So then once it's done, it requires that the balance to be the balance before plus the fixed fee. Otherwise, the flash loan hasn't been paid back. So how do we do this? How do we fix this? Um, so we can see there's a flash loan receiver here. And this is basically, all right, yep, receive ether. Um, the fee, as I said before, this is the fee that's passed in as the parameter here. And it, one, verifies that only the pool can send this message or call this function. It then calculates how much it needs to pay. Uh, it then requires that the address of this balance to be greater than or equal to that, and then it executes the action. But you know, this is we don't need to do anything, so you can see that this is just a nothing function, and then it sends that value back to the pool with that extra ETH. So what we need to do is find a way to drain this contract because this contract starts with ten ETH um, from with from all its ETH. So we can see in the setup, it has, you know, 1,000 ETH in the pool, 10 ETH in the receiver, uh, and then it does all the deployments, and we need to somehow exploit this. So the way that we do this is we need to have a contract deployed. Now, why do we need to have a contract deployed? The way, the, the kind of exploit path that we're going to go down is that we can call the lending pool flash loan on behalf of any other address. So we can call, yep, all right, we want this address to receive the flash loan with this much amount. And then that address is required to pay back the flash loan plus the one ETH fee. So if we can get the address of this receiver contract and continually call this lending pool flash loan function with the address of that contract, this contract as in the receiver, is going to be continuously paying that one ETH fee every time we execute it. And if we execute it 10 times, then the 10 ETH that has been in this, uh, that's in this contract initially will be subtracted by one by one by one by one, which leaves us with zero, and we solve the challenge. So to do this, we're actually going to have to create a new uh, attack contract, and we're going to call this uh, attack naive receiver because that is the um, the name of the challenge and so this is our attack contract that we're going to use here so we just have a pool here which is of type naive receiver lender pool and we have the constructor which we pass in the address of this pool and then we have an attack function and the attack function does simple for loop as I said and it calls the flash loan on the pool 
with the victim, which is the address of the victim that we're going to pass in. And we're just going to borrow one ether because it doesn't really matter how much we borrow as long as it gets paid back. Um, it just needs to be less than a thousand. So then uh, how do we actually write the code to solve this? So again, this is pretty straightforward. We have our exploit code here and I'm going to paste in here. So we generate an attack factory, which is going to generate the contract factory that we've just created. And then it's going to deploy it. Uh, and now the deployment requires that the, it has constructor um, parameters. In this case, it requires the pool address of the lending pool. So we're just going to pass that in here. And then we're just going to wait for the attack contract. We're going to call the attack function. Again, coming back here, this is the attack function we're calling. We need to pass in the address of the victim that we're, we're calling here. And this dot receiver address is that victim. So this is all defined up here. You can see that there's um, this dot receiver is that is that receiver function. So this is where we're going to drain it from. And then the success conditions is that the balance of the receiver address is zero, and the balance of the pool address is equal to the balance of the uh, pool initially plus the balance of the receiver. So we're migrating that ten ether from the receiver address to the lending pool. All right. So once we've done this, let's go ahead and run it. So we can just go. Yarn run naive receiver. And we can see that we've passed the exploit. So again, just kind of going over it, we, in our exploit um, contract, we just call the flash loan with the victim's address 10 times. The victim's address will receive the flash loan, repay it with the extra one ETH. And we do that 10 times in a single transaction and we empty the account. Cool. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, more videos will be coming about with the rest of the series and I will see you in the next one.